Hey guys, this is Sarah from Misadventure Pants, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to read your compass and use it to orient yourself to the direction you want to travel. And, um, you know, we, you, I think a lot of people get really nervous when they start thinking about using a map and compass. They're like, oh my god, I'm going to have to shoot a bearing to 85 east, like whatever the hell that is. But you can do a lot with your compass on your map just by knowing how to aim in general directions like north, east, south, and west. So that's what, what I'm going to show you today. Um, obviously, we're not in the wilderness today. We're on my deck in Denver, but it does work up here too. Um, so let's say, for example, I'm on my rooftop deck and I want to know in which direction the sun sets. So I need to know which direction is west. Um, how do I find that with my compass? Well, let me show you exactly how to do that. So here's my compass. I'm holding it just out in front of me as I would be if I was using it to navigate in the wilderness. And I'll show you a few things about it. Um, probably its most obvious feature is this floating needle in the center. And as you can see when I rotate the compass, the needle always points in the same direction. The red end of the needle is always pointing towards mag magnetic north, which is different from the North Pole. And we'll talk a little bit about what that means in a minute. But that's the feature that you use to navigate, to always stay going in the right direction. Um, most compasses have an arrow at the top. It would be right about here on mine. So it's the, called the direction of travel arrow. It just means always point the compass in this direction if that's where you're headed. Um, I kind of have to imagine it on mine <laughs> because I don't have one, but hopefully yours has one. And then you can see there's a rotating bezel. This is also called the azimuth ring sometimes. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can see that with the glare, but it has the four cardinal directions on it, north, south, east, west, and then all the degrees marked in the middle. Um, you probably remember from high school, there are 360 degrees in a circle. If you turn yourself in a circle looking around, there are 360 degrees all around you. So um, that's what we use to navigate. And then the last thing to be aware of is this red arrow. It's called the orienting arrow and when I turn it to line up with the compass needle then it'll tell me what direction I'm traveling or I can turn this to the direction I want to go and then rotate the compass so that the needle is in the red lines we call it putting red in the shed and that will can you guys see this yeah actually if you don't hold your compass flat it doesn't work <laughs> so um, hopefully that's that's somewhat right but yeah when the when the needle is inside the orienting arrow then um, the compass is pointed in the direction on the index line so how does this all work when you put it together let's see let's get back to seeing if we can find which direction is west so I can watch my sunset up here all right so in order to face west I need to put west in line with this little arrow mark up here so I'm gonna turn my bezel and um, one thing to keep in mind, um, on my compass, all the, the cardinal directions are marked really nicely. So north is there. You can see if I go 90 degrees clockwise, it's east. Um, but um, yeah, you can also do it by numbers. So 360 degrees, zero is north, 180 is south, 90 is east, and then 270 is west every 90 degrees you get a cardinal direction so this is now set to west and what i can do and i'm going to try to lay it flat and hold the camera with one hand and rotate it um, it's really important to lay your compass flat so that the needle floats correctly and i'm going to rotate this until i'll put a little light on it so you guys can see hopefully i don't know if that helps Rotate this until the, the red needle is in the red orienting arrow. So do you guys see that is lined up perfectly now? And if I stand behind my compass, it's sitting on a table on my deck and looks straight up. I should see the mountains, I should see west, and it should be right there that the sun is going down. And I know from experience, this is absolutely true. Um, the sun sets kind of over Indian Peaks over there to the west every night and um, yeah there it is. Compass found it just perfectly. 
Um, so if I was actually in the wilderness and wanted to travel in this direction, now at least I'm pointing in the right direction. I can keep, um, you know, checking my compass to make sure I'm on track. And I never even had to take a bearing just to know, you know, this is the way I want to go if I pretty much want to go west. So one more thing to be aware of, um, I, I mentioned earlier that the needle doesn't actually point at the North Pole. It points at true. It points at magnetic north, which is actually somewhere in northern Canada. For some reason, the magnetic north does not match up with the North Pole, and it actually moves around. So. Um, it can be a little bit hard to know exactly what it is. So what you can do to find out the um, magnetic declination for your area, I just printed out this brand new topo map from Cal Topo. And if I zoom in here, down here in the corner, um, I can see that for this location, this is a map of Denver, Mag magnetic north lies eight degrees east of true north. So um, my compass, is one that you can actually set the declination, which is really awesome. I mostly use it in Colorado, so I never change it. Um, it's just set to eight degrees all the time, and my um, bearings just come out right as if it were true north. Um, if you don't have a compass that does that, what you can do is just subtract eight or add or subtract whatever it is. Um, you're gonna add if it's to the west, subtract if it's to the east your magnetic declination. So um, if I was trying to um, set my compass to west, I would take to 70 and subtract eight. So I actually would turn my bezel to 262, if you guys can, you guys probably can't see that. The light is just not great up here. But yeah, if I set it to 262 and then went through the same exercise of getting it lined up, then I would be pointed towards true west, assuming I didn't already have the declination set inside the compass. So it um, takes a little bit of math, but once you get used to it, no problem at all. Hey guys, so that was my video on how to read your compass, how to or get yourself oriented to your direction of travel. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them below the video or reach me through my website. And yeah, thanks for hanging with me. I'm actually going to go grab a glass of wine and watch the sunset in about an hour right over there. Confirmed by the compass.